Hello beautiful souls and welcome back. In today's tarot and oracle reading we will be using the wildwood tarot and the magical herb oracle. I hope everyone is doing well today. In today's reading we are going to see what areas of our life, what aspect of our lives might need our attention today. There are many ways to read tarot and oracle cards and I love to use them for personal development and personal growth. We can always be a better version of ourselves by focusing on ourselves. It might seem narcissistic but in order to get to where we want to go in life, we must first understand where we are. So let's see. Where do we need to focus our attention today? Thank you. We have two cards. We have chamomile, which is calm. And we have the California poppy, which is dreams. Speaking about where we want to go in life, what are your dreams? What are your intentions? Where do you want to be in this life? Where do you want to be in 10 days? Where do you want to be in 10 years? What are your dreams? Do you even really know? Have you stopped to sit down really calm your mind, relax, and allow yourself to daydream? If anything was possible, if you could do anything, what would it be? What would your job be? What would your house look like? What would your family be like? Perhaps today is the day that you just Take the time to sit and calm the mind. It's not about silencing the mind. It's about being able to observe your thoughts. Because I want you to listen to those thoughts. What is your mind telling you? Not just your ego. What is your mind telling you? So we have the two of bows, decisions. And this came out when I was telling you to focus on what it is that you might want. <laughs> and I feel like a lot of you have no clue what it is that you want. And I totally agree with, I have no clue what I want to do. I'm 36 and I have no clue what I want to do when I grow up. <laughs> and that's okay. I know aspects of my life and I'm sure you do as well. We have the mirror and we have the hooded man. There is something much deeper going in, going on. Whoops, sorry, I hit the camera. There is something much deeper going on inside of all of your minds than you realize at this moment. You know, you don't know, where do you want to live? You might want to, you know, do you want to live in the country or the city? Do you want to live in a big house or a small house? Do you want to live, you know, close to your family or get the hell out of Dodge, right? <laughs> There's so many decisions to be made in this life and so many dreams. And what your dreams are right now might not be your dreams in 10 years. And that's okay. You can still plan for what you might want to do in 10 years. And then as situations change, as you change as an individual, those dreams can change and morph. And we just got a whole bunch of cards. <laughs> 
the green woman. This beautiful woman is crying into her milk, looking at the future. The future is what we make of it. We have the wheel, the proof that things are ever changing. The seasons go round, the world goes round, ideas revolve. The ace of arrows transitions. As we dream about what we might want in this life, we need to also realize that the dreams that we're dreaming, the intentions that we're setting, none of that is set in stone. And we need to have the ability to be flexible and to move as we move, as we change, as we grow, as we adapt. Page of Stones, the Lynx, the Queen of Stones, the Bear, and the Moon on the Water. Let's see if I can get it to focus on the Moon. <laughs> these two cards together. Let's get our Oracle cards out amongst all these tarot. So this is an interesting dynamic here. We have the mirror, we have the moon on the water. The mirror looking back at ourselves, a reflection of ourselves. And the moon on the water, a perfect symbolism for shadow work, for shining light onto areas of ourselves that we might not see. It's interesting here, we have a heron, perhaps some cranes, perhaps that's a crane as well, and this bull. But look who we have here. That looks like that could be that same bird. In the distance, only lit or backlit, and we only see the silhouette, but here it is beside us. And I feel like this is telling us that sometimes the answers that we seek are right there beside us. We might be looking out into the distance and not being able to recognize what it is, but it's right there. It's right there with us. So yes, it's all well and good to sit in meditation, like I was talking to calm the mind, perhaps scrying or, you know, using tools like tarot to perhaps decipher some of your thoughts and some of your dreams. With this hooded man, this could be, you know, also seeking the advice of elders or someone you, you hold in high regard. But we always need to come back to ourselves come back to what we truly want in this moment. We also have the representation here of the moon on the California poppy. And then chamomile is often a wonderful tea to drink at night to help calm the mind and calm the body for sleep. So perhaps for some of you, your answer is come in your sleep. And if you have a hard time remembering your dreams, I would highly recommend that you set the intention every night before bed that you're going to remember your dreams. And then also keep a dream journal beside your bed so that the moment you wake up, if you remember your dream, you can write it down. It's amazing. I. I always felt like I never remembered my dreams. But the more I told myself that I was going to remember my dreams, the more I set the intention that I was going to remember my dream, the more I did remember them, the more I was able to observe my dreams. 
So perhaps a lot of you, your answers will come to you in a dream state or in a meditative state, which is very similar. But a time when you're kind of letting go of the expectation. I feel like this green woman has more to tell us as well. Hmm. It's interesting. I don't know what she has here. You see this little creature? But it very much reminds me of this lynx here. Going through the, the forest, perhaps it's going through the brambles. It knows just the right places to step. It doesn't want to get tangled in the underbrush. It doesn't want to get tangled in the underbrush. It also doesn't want to be heard by whoever it's watching. Is it afraid of being seen? Or is it just wanting to be stealthy to achieve its goal? It doesn't want to share. This page of stones, it is, it's this new found idea of where you might want to go and feeling this desire to just go for it, but not necessarily understanding why, but just trusting your natural instincts and trusting that you know how to get there. And we have another full moon. Full moons may be very important for you coming up. It's a good time to release. I'd say set your intentions for what you want on a new moon and release the fear and anxiety on the full moon. Step away from what is no longer serving you on that full moon. Really find calm and tranquility in that release. With the Queen of Stones here, the message I'm getting is that, you know, the mama bear, the mama bear inside of you, the mama bear in your own mother or in a mother figure in your life is looking out of over the over the horizon on you, is protecting you, whether in a physical or spiritual way. There's no need to fear these decisions anymore. It's interesting, the color balance there between the sky and the fire. But there's no need to fear these decisions. It doesn't really matter in the long run. Live your life. Enjoy the moments. Live by the cycles. But really start by understanding who you are. And again, for so many of you, I feel like this answer will come through meditation or through dreams. Let me know down in the comments below. Do you remember your dreams? You don't have to share them with me and you can, if you want. I just want to know if you remember your dreams. Well, that is your tarot and Oracle reading for today. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, please hit that subscribe button and I will see you in the next video. Love, light, and happiness to all of you. Have a fantastic day. Bye.